volunteer if there's not enough back there. And I'm going to ask you, let's start building our offering up. The last two months, I don't know if it's because you're spending your money for something you shouldn't be, or you're not giving properly as God wants you to, but there's been a decrease in the giving. And I want you to start reversing it tonight. I want everybody here to write a larger check this week. I want you to get deeper in your billfold, your pocketbook. I want you to give more than you normally could give. Are you thinking about giving? And I want to start raising our offering up. While I was gone, I know the brethren tried to carry the load, uh, but they uh, did their very best but as your pastor. God will bless you. Hand me my Bible there. I want to read to you a scripture in the book of Malachi that's just as important as any doctrine in the Bible. And it's very meaningful. If I didn't love this place and know what it stands for, I would not be standing here tonight. I'm not an actor in theater. I'm not a puppeteer. I believe the gospel is as real as any man can preach it. Amen, sir. And I've stood here 53 years through the good times, the bad times, the high days, the low days, to the feverish days, to the days that were not calm, and to the days that were calm. And I can tell you this, God has anointed this place on 7th Avenue Amen. to be a haven of rest yes. for his people. God has kept this place through the storms of life. And I want you tonight to let's get ready for our convention and start writing your offerings just as much as you can do. Don't worry about going into poverty. You're not going there. Not giving to God, you're not. Uh, you're not going to uh, be without not giving to God. I've tried it many times, and I know uh, what I say uh, would be true. Here, in the book of Malachi, uh, verse, uh, chapter 3, verse 10, bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now uh, herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, I will not, I will open, uh, I will not open you, I will open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there will not be room to receive it. I want you to bring your tithing into the storehouse. And this is the storehouse. Bring it here. Bring your offering. And God said, and his word is true, and he will not fail you. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, that is the word of God, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of us. You want to prove God tonight? Obey his word, do what he said. I, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, in other words, I'll prove that I'll bless you for doing what I command you to do, yes. and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. I know what this place stands for. I know. It just doesn't stand for preaching the gospel. It stands for people that live and have homes. It stands for the homeless that are fed every week. It stands for endless baskets of groceries that go to help the poor and the needy. It stands for counseling. It stands for prayer. It stands for young people to come and find a place to give themselves to God. It stands for prayer at any time. 24 hours a day, this place is open for prayer. It stands for consolation. It stands for help to the weak and to the lonely. It stands for education. Our Christian school is now educating uh, young people. One of our graduates, by the way, is going into LECOM to become a doctor of medicine yes. from this school, Tabernacle Christian School. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I, God is a good God. I, he, this place stands for life. It stands for food that is fed to people without charge. It stands for people gathering here. It stands for missionaries that have received thousands of dollars across the world from this church. It stands for organs in Mexico that we donated. Vans in the Bahamas that this church has sent. Vans, 15 passenger vans on missionary in the Bahamas. It stands for organs in Mexico to help the poor there. 
This church does many things with what God gives it to do. Yeah. You, pour, you give your tithing, and it does not go to enrich me. I am a man that lived as you do. I have no secret bank account. Uh, I have nothing but the regular bank account that I try to balance the checkbook and keep it going every week. I have no inner pockets that I've enriched myself with, and Sister Marlo and I really don't want it. The house really then, Bank of America, has a mortgage on it. The car I drive, Ford Motor Company, has a mortgage on it. Uh, I'm a common man. I live with you. I give as you give. I, I say you give, and God will bless you. Not to Brother Barlow. Give to him. Yes. Obey his word. Yes. Don't enrich me. Nobody enrich him. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you as you come to receive our Wednesday night offering, and we're going to start building our offerings, and God's going to bless us. Amen.